The power of art is the power to change how we think and how we prioritize. In part one, we're gonna introduce three pioneering artists who work at the intersection of art technology to create social change. Welcome to Art and Technology. My name is Daniel Sauter, and I'm a professor of art, media, and technology at Parsons School of Design. Hi, my name is Rashad Newsom, and I am an interdisciplinary artist. My work really champions the crown jewels of American culture. Like, it looks at hip hop culture, black vernacular, Vogue femme performance. I'm Maurice Benayoun. If I have to define myself as an artist, I would say something like, open media artists. I've been exploring a wide span of technologies from 3D printing and blockchain and the potential of technologies and what are the limits of technologies. I'm Rafik, I'm a media artist. I use data as a pigment and create art for anyone, any age and any background. I start using data in the very first stage and then I learned that data is something, not just numbers. It actually has a context about memory. I learned that public art can also hold public memories. So I simply started using algorithms and data and tried to create three-dimensional forms and experiences in public space. Artists understand that we need tools, databases, and methods to take our lives in our own hands. We may consider that one of the main challenges of society uh, in relation to technologies is about control. For sure, it's about surveillance. For sure, it's about identification of people. It's about creating virtual boundaries that limit what we can do, what we shouldn't do. I'm really interested in issues of control because I feel like for you know, centuries black folk have had to kind of develop this really intense form of power to navigate what scholar Bell Hooks calls the capitalist, imperialist, white supremacist patriarchy. Control for me is understanding the system and behaving according to that. And I think control is also embedded into algorithms because I don't think any way of understanding mathematics behind the machines without a controlled system. I think in a lot of ways, the culture of domination teaches us that, you know, power is always something outside of yourself, right? Like you have to have this thing, you have to look this certain way, you have to have this certain position, rather than finding what your power is within and then defining that. Control is curation, curation of data, curation of algorithms, learning rate. Like you can literally tell machine how much it should learn. So for AI to be able to control, we have to understand it. You cannot control something without understanding it. I think in some ways, I'm always trying to tap into that quantum energy, if you will, of when black folks come together, that particular power and how can I like somehow image that or create an experience that is akin to that. Every time I had the opportunity to explore the technology, I immediately use it to try to see one step further. A consistent theme within my creative process is looking at how omnipresent the culture of domination and control is in our lives, and then using material and media that operates within that apparatus to create work that um, creates space for joy and critical thinking. Positive change in a global interconnected society always involves all aspects of life. So separating technology and art is almost unnatural. It is critical that individuals develop a personal understanding of control in this digital economy. In part two, we will explore the work of our artists in more depth and discover how they engage the theme of control. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology. Mm -hmm.